Hi, this is Philip from CodeCabinet.com and this is the second part of my series Better VBA. And today I would like to uh, deal with a very, very trivial topic, the naming of variables. That seems to be uh, very, very simple and straightforward. But still I see uh, beginners and um, experienced developers alike uh, making, well, weird choices about that. And so uh, I would like to do a short video um, explaining what I think about it. Okay. Let's get started. Look, uh, here's a function I have prepared and it actually um, works perfectly. It compiles, as you see. Um, it absolutely does what it is supposed to do, but it is a very bad code that is written here because can you see what this function is supposed to do? It's probably uh, very difficult to find that out. There are meaningless variable names. There are two flags, just called flag 1 and flag 2. And I absolutely hate it if I somewhere see in the programming um, language in, in the code used um, that someone named a variable just flag. That's totally meaningless. Now, um, I'm, I'm not really explaining that to you, but instead I'm going to um, edit the code and rename the variables to uh, something more meaningful. So now let's look again. And... Um, it has become much more meaningful, hasn't it? You see, um, the first argument is a potential date. The second one is allow null value. And the third one is allow future date. They all pretty much say what they mean. And um, this um, thing, this uh, variable previously named just r, has been renamed to red wall val, and that is um, something that I use for the return value of a function. That is n not very expressive in itself, but um, if you see that the, the function returns this value, then you should be uh, should understand pretty fast what this variable is uh, supposed to mean. If you have reading um, an application, the code of an application I wrote, then you will be very familiar with that return value red val parameter. Okay, now let's look what the function does. We check if the potential date is null and if the function allows null values, then everything's fine. Return value is true. Um, if it's not null, we use is date to uh, check if the potential date is actually a date. And um, the is date function is somewhat controversial because it will uh, say lots of uh, strings passed to it are dates where you yourself will probably not have expected them to be a date. But um, it allows lots of different date formats and um, so is um, indicating that, that lots of them are actually valid dates. And some people say you shouldn't use isDate because it um, allows a wide variety of uh, values to be uh, converted to date that in uh, most of people's opinions aren't dates. But I think it's quite fine if you check a few things and the first one is right here. I check if uh, the enter date is, um, is oh, that has a mistake here. It has to be more th greater than the minimum valid date in in the context of my application. And uh, the next thing is if we do not allow future a future date, then we check if the date is in the future and then uh, we'll return false. And we 
explicitly have to uh, to set a return value to false because it might have been set to true before. And now this function is uh, pretty much self-explaining and the last step I absolutely should do is rename the function to something more meaningful is a valid date would be a good name for this function I think. And now we try to compile again. It compiles and it's much, much more meaningful for someone looking at the function. Just by the name you see what it is supposed to do. And um, by looking at the arguments to the function you instantly recognize how you can um, tweak its behavior to, uh, to match what you need in a specific situation. So that is a short demo of why using meaningful variable names is so important to make your code readable and maintainable. Um, I hope you, you see the benefit in that and I strongly urge you to really think about each argument to a function, about each variable that you write and um, think of a meaningful name for that variable and just use that name. It will make it so much easier to read your code and uh, that is even uh, very important if you are the only person that is going to read that code in the future because in um, a couple of months time you will have totally forgot what you wrote in that function and it is really important to be able to read that quickly and to understand that quickly. Okay, we are done for today. Thank you for watching and um, yeah, I hope I'll see you uh, soon in another episode of uh, Better VBA. Bye-bye.